Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about broken access control vulnerabilities, which is one of the most interesting vulnerabilities in the bug bounty and cybersecurity world, which is classified as the number one most found vulnerabilities on the HackerOne bug bounty platform and the OS 2022-2023. So if you're interested in learning more about this vulnerability, please click the like button and the subscribe button and let's just get started. So what is actually broken access control? So broken access control, which means there is some access, there is some permissions, there is some functionalities, there is some data on the app application that you're not allowed to access this data or these functions. But as the attacker, he finds a way to access these act actions or these data. So this is the basic of broken access control. Let me give you an example about broken access control vulnerability. So let's just say we have a web application, we have an admin account, we have all the functionalities from adding a user, from removing a user, from seeing documents, from seeing the company analytics, from inviting a user. So we have all these functionalities and there is other type of user into this application, which is a low level user who have only the ability or the permissions to access only the post and comment on some post. This is an example of a web application. So let's just say I am a low level user. So what can I do to access all these functionalities? Like I want to invite a user, I want to remove a user or seeing some orders of the application. So what actually can I do to access all these functionalities? As you can see right here, we're having this application, which is a normal web application. It's an e-commerce store, okay? So what we can do in this e-commerce store is viewing the product. As you can see, this is a bike. We can see the product. Okay, we can come back and see other lists of product. And we can also go to the home and my account, okay? So we cannot access the admin panel. So the admin panel, what it actually can do is removing the users, removing the customers, removing uh, orders or whatever high privilege permission he can do. So as an attacker, I want to access these admin functionalities. I want to act like, as an admin and perform this action. Maybe I want to leak somebody else uh, data. Maybe I want to steal his email. Or maybe I want to steal his phone number or confirming the order or deleting the order of somebody user or deleting even another user. So what can I actually do or what are or what are the steps I can do? So first of all, I recommend which is viewing the source code, source code, sorry. So what we do is uh, go here, click and do inspect element. As you can see, we're having the source code right here, but uh, that's not clear. So let's just click control U and we can see the full source code right here. So we can read, uh, this is a normal HTML. There is a body HTML. This is H1, P, SVG, A tag. But we come back here and we can see a script tag. So that script tag, as we can control F and click admin. So we're seeing all the words of admin and click enter, enter, enter. As we can see here, there is a variable which is called is admin equal false. So this user is not an admin. So this should be true. So for example, let's just say you're visiting a web application. Okay, so what you should do is copy like, for example, this and you go to burp suite and go match and replace, click add and do response body. Okay, so response body right here. This is just an example how you should be thinking. So we found on the JavaScript right here, it's showing is admin, it's showing false, which means we are not the admin. So it should be true. So that's how we should be thinking. So let's just say, if it's true, should I have the permission to act as an admin? So what you should actually do is try to check this trick right here. So you go to Burp Suite and do and pass this string right here. We're passing the JavaScript that uh, we got from here and try to replace it with a true. So what we're doing actually here, we're saying if you find is admin equal false, make it equal true. So the application will be seen. So, uh, so we're replacing false with true. So the application should see, or oh, is this an admin? Instead of seeing is an admin is false, it see admin is true. So maybe now it's going to give us some admin permissions. So this is what you should do. So we match is admin 
false and we replace it with is admin true and with a response body so we, we are re replacing on the body of the request and click okay so this is what you actually should do you see a javascript you see a json saying oh this this request is showing here is this an admin false you should replace it with true and see if it gives you some admin permission or there is another way which is leaking the admin panel as you can see here on the admin panel tag set attribute href admin panoi 7 7a so what we actually should do is we copy this path right here and try to access the path we go back to our application and we pass the path and click enter sorry we have a mistake here and we click enter as you can see right here we have a list of users we have a winner we have carlos so we have the ability to delete a user that we didn't have in the past in the past we only had access to see the product to uh, visit my account page or go to the home or add the product to the list but what we did is control u and we, kept, we went down here we see is admin equal false and we replaced it we can replace it with the true or uh, something else and we went down right here and we saw a path which is admin panoi 7a and we opened this path and it gave us the ability to remove a user so we click delete and we click carlos as you can see congratulations you saw the lab which we had the ability to remove other users so in this example, we have this e-commerce application. When we go into the home, we can see uh, view details. We can go to our account, which is my account. Okay, let's just try, uh, sorry, to log, log out. Let's just try to uh, do admin, try to access the admin panel, okay? We type admin, click enter. As you can see, admin interface admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator okay so let's just go to my account and try to log in as an administrator we only have our account details which is winner peters okay and click login as you can see we have your username is winner we have the home we have my account to log out so my account is this one we can update email, we can go home, we can see the product. We don't have any admin functionalities. We are logged in as a normal user. So what we should do to access an admin functionalities like viewing user, removing user, etc. So let's just come back, go to the winner and do logged out. And we want to intercept the login traffic because as you can see right here, if we go to admin, we go to admin and click enter you can see admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator so we need to be logged in as an administrator okay so let's just go back to my account and try to log in winner and do peter but this time it's different we need to intercept the re intercept the request and see everything is being sent to the server let's just click login okay login and submit so this is a request is showing uh, is lo logging us to our account so as you can see right here admin equal false which means we don't, are not admin so the cookie is showing us admin equal false so what if you modify to true so it will be equaling admin equal true so let's just submit the request do intercept response to the request we click forward forward and on the response you can see this you can see set cookie which is our cookie and you can see set cookie admin equal false which means this user is not an admin so he cannot access the web application functions so what we can do we modify the response of this request the login request we modify false to true okay and we submit the request and as you can see admin panel we have home and an extra tab which is the admin panel my account and logout so let's just click on admin panel you can see we have a list of users that we did not have access before so we can delete users right here let's just try to uh, delete this user 
So what actually happened in this example? So we modified the response from false to true. So how web application here is working is checking only the response. The, re the check is on the client side. So the attacker can modify the response of the request if it's showing, for example, uh, is admin equal false, we can modify to true. For example, is editable, for example, if we can edit some email, the response is showing is it editable false we can modify it to true and see the response and the behavior of the web application Just say this web application here already gives you the ability to have an admin account and the ability to have a low level user account so what i mean by low level user account so this user do not have an ability to perform some action like deleting a user or giving permission to this user or deleting this user Okay, so let's just try to log into our admin account right here, administrator, and try to log in. Okay, and on admin panel, you can see we have some users. We have the Carlos, we are uh, the administrator, and we have a winner. So our role or our mission here to test if normal user can do this permission. Can a normal user, for example, let's just say, can winner try to downgrade an admin from an admin to a normal user, okay? So let's just try to uh, make Carlos as an admin. So we do upgrade right here, we do upgrade, but we click on uh, the downgrade, okay? Now the Carlos is an admin. So we click on downgrade user and we send this back to the repeater, okay? Okay, let's just make this as an admin again. Uh, okay, Carlos, we just make it as an admin. So now we intercepted the request of lowering, lowering up, uh, lowering down the, the permission of this user. So we're downgrading uh, the permission of Carlos. Okay, so now is an admin. So what we want to do is test if the user winner can downgrade uh, the Carlos from an admin to a normal user. Okay, so let's just try to log in. So create another box right here and let's just try to log in as winner which is a normal user okay so as you can see we don't have any ability to access the admin uh, the admin panel so what we want to do is try to modify the email for example I just do x.mail.com and we intercept the request that have its own cookie so we do update email and we have this request right here to update email. So the only thing we need from this request is the HTTP headers with or uh, the, the cookie. So we send this to repeater. Okay. So this is the winner request. So this is the cookie of the winner. Okay. So what we want to do is to level up, low, so downgrade this user from an admin to a normal user. So I'll just refresh the page to confirm it's an admin. It's an admin, okay? So that's the request we intercepted before. So what we would need to do is try to replace the cookie from the admin cookie to a normal user cookie and see if the normal user have the authorization to act as an admin. So let's just try to, to manipulate this request. So this is the admin request that we got later to downgrade the Carlos. And this is a request that we got now. So let's just try to replace this session or replace the cookie of a normal user, the cookie of a winner, replace it with a cookie of uh, the last request, which is the admin. So we replace this here and click send. And as you can see, we have a 401 unauthorized. So we are not authorized to, uh, load, to downgrade in Carlos from an admin to a normal user. So now what you should do is you should stop? No, of course. So there is another bypasses you should do. Okay, so one of the bypasses is try to, uh, to change the request method. As you can see here, we have a post request, okay? And this parameter, which is username and action downgrade. So what we should do is click and go here, change request method, and we click it. As you can see, admin roles, username, Carlos, action downgrade. So if we click send, you can see it's redirecting us to admin. So we do follow, 
right here okay so let's just try now to refresh the page and see if carlos is still an admin or not so let's just refresh as you can see we successfully modified carlos from an admin to a normal user as i showed you on the previous example there is multiple ways to find a broken access control vulnerabilities for example in the first one we found an admin panel uh, being leaked into the javascript file so we read the javascript and we found the admin panel and we accessed it and the second example we replaced true to false so we replaced the response of http response from uh, we, we modified the cookie from admin equals false to admin equal true so the web application when he sees the response and saying oh so this is admin equal false it doesn't have the admin permission we do not give this user the admin permission but if we modify from false to true the application should see oh okay so this user admin equal true so we give him the admin permission and now we bypass the admin restriction or the admin panel or the admin functionalities that we do not have to access these uh, functionalities in the first place. In the third example, we had two types of account. We had an admin account and a low level user account. So what we try to do is try to use the low level user account to access some admin permission. So what we did is try to downgrade the permission of Carlos from admin to a normal user. And we sent this request to the repeater. Then we try to use this request later to try to downgrade the Carlos from admin to a low level user. So what we did, we logged to our account, which is the winner and tried to put our login credential and we got our cookie and tried to replace the first request cookie with our cookie. So what we did, we got the request, replaced the admin cookie with the normal user cookie and we see and try to see if we can perform this action and we were unsuccessfully able to uh, perform this action as we saw we had a 401 unauthorized but we uh, but when we modified or when we returned the request from a post request into a get request we got a 301 which is a redirect and we checked back the admin account we saw that we are successfully able to downgrade the user from an admin to a normal user. Well, this is the end of the video. If you really like my explanation and you wanna learn more about other types of vulnerabilities or get a one-on-one -on -one private coaching by me, click the link below and let me help you get started. If you have any other question about this video or you have any recommendation for my future posting, please type in on the comment section. And if you like this video, please click the like button and the subscribe button. Well, I'll see you in the next one.